Hey, what's up YouTube? Screwdriver Manila here. For some reason, it's raining. I hope the rain doesn't pour hard because uh, again, I'm on my Vespa S 125. For the past two weeks of that, I haven't used this. It gave me a problem. Although it was a minor one, you know, I had a flat tire. Nagtatampo, right? Tampo. We call it tampo. So today, I'm using it. It's drizzling. I hope the rain doesn't get hard because uh, it's summertime, right? Definitely, it will uh, ease out the the warm weather. But of course, the inconvenience in in riding. My topic for today is something with motorcycle riding. I have listed out. I have listed a, a five items that we need to really take note of when starting a motorcycle. Okay, so again, this is my personal advice based on my experience in the past uh, one year of riding in the metro from Manila. So again, top five advice I can get for those who are planning to buy a motorcycle this summer. So this is really important because uh, again, as you may be aware of, this is uh, my advocacy, advocacy channel for encouraging as much as I can those people in the metro that, that is planning to buy a motorcycle i can really assure you that this is something really benefit you in a lot of ways all right so let's start it out i don't want to focus more on the advocacy my top five items that you should be taking note of when starting out a motorcycle in metro manila okay let's start with number one okay so for me it's really important to have a perfect timing okay so when i say perfect timing when do you start riding a motorcycle when do you plan riding motorcycle again the assumption is you don't have any experience at all or at least very basic experience in riding a motorcycle Are you March before summer starts? It's the best time to do it. Why? Because uh, there's really less students out there, so it means congestion is really less. It's less likely to have a crowded street compared to any other you know time of the year. Second part of the timing is when we talk about summer, then definitely we don't usually see some wet patches uh, like what I have now. Higher risk in terms of riding. Okay, your helmet is not clear at all and all those stuff right let me wipe this okay so those are the challenges right so number one is the perfect timing again i really suggest riding out or trying try riding in summer okay assuming you're really a newbie just like me when i had my first scooter it was the first time i ride it in the city in fact, when I bought one in uh, in the dealer, you know, I call I call a friend. I call a friend to, you know, to bring it home, to bring it home with me, because I cannot ride. I mean, it's very intimidating outside. It's very intimidating on the street. You have a lot of cars out there, and not to mention a lot of kamote and rude riders around you. Second, of course, is buying a scooter. My suggestion is a scooter, not a full-blown motorcycle because, uh, you know, assuming you're just going to be using it in the city. And part of buying it, I highly recommend buying a second-hand scooter. Because for sure, okay, for sure, you're going to end up selling it in a couple of months. Okay, so, so in fact, in, in, in like, for example, in the U.S., they have... Yeah, they have this statistics that special for the beginner one motorcycle only lasts for like six months so i'm pretty sure it, it's somehow similar to what we have here for me i highly recommend buying a secondhand motorcycle you know don't trust the looks because uh we, we are always uh getting interested with the looks you always think okay this is the right motorcycle for me only to find out it's not it's a no-brainer you can do those uh trial and error with a second-hand unit like if you drop it it's not gonna be a big problem if you want to sell it after two months three months less problem for you on the depreciation value so same thing what i did right my, my first motorcycle my first scooter it's kimco like it only lasted with me for six months i i really love the motorcycle but then again once you're you know comfortable riding you always wanted to try another another one because again you're 
learning right you're learning there's a eagerness in you you wanted to try more and more and you know finally or hopefully you can really find the right one okay so that that's really important okay let's jump to third item third item is familiarize yourself with your new motorcycle when i was on my first scooter i keep on riding i keep on clocking mileage on it in six months time i was able to clock more than six thousand kilometers imagine it every month it's one thousand kilometers or more right so the point is you should make time because definitely mileage there is experience right you can only be familiar with your scooter with your motorcycle when you're riding it right get used to troll control i'm not saying that you know i'm i'm expert in throttle control but then again that's the key there that's the key in motorcycle riding and that that's also the reason the primary reason why i'm suggesting a scooter because it, it's more forgiving in terms of throttle uh, response unlike those uh the big displacement motorcycle it could be really dangerous and uh, could really put yourself at rest consequences can be it can be really dangerous out there again the third thing is familiarize yourself with motorcycle good thing is i have my buddy with me you know they keep on helping me because they are the one who encouraged me to buy motorcycles so when i was doing that you know they really supported me just need to put in a lot of mileage on it mileage equals experience okay combine this motorcycle with my cafe 400 with my kimco light i have clock i would say more than 10,000 kilometers so imagine that experience that i have with the motorcycle in just one year ask others out there that has a scooter maybe that has a, they might have their own big bikes but if you look at the mileage that they have clung, it's just less than 3,000 kilometers so again experience riding with your motorcycle familiarize with the road condition what we have in metro manila and all those right number four discipline on the road it's not new to us right it's not new to us filipinos okay we have a very diverse <laughs> attitudes and uh you know whatever is in the road it's not like some other countries but typically in asia in particular we, we have pretty much similar culture and uh, you know the diversity in the road condition i mean when i say diversity the people around you has a different point of views right there could be like commuter riders out there i don't know commote taxi maybe or commote jeepney boss everyone else who's uh, trying to make their living on the road so it's really a, a big you know competition out there it's just like you making sure you compete with the be competitive with your office mate it's pretty much similar with with these folks who are earning their living on the road taxi drivers we have the uh messenger who's riding a motorcycle they can be really like come out there because they are trying to work their self out of a daily basis on the road so it's just i can imagine the struggle i can imagine what they need to do just to make sure they get home with uh, what they needed to bring home right so again we are all familiar with the with the culture it's important culture wise you know anyone can can squeeze you into traffic anyone any commuter riders can you know use the pedestrian pedestrian lane and all those so just be familiar with it if you can avoid doing the same thing it's good because you know it it's it bring us to the next level of uh, of economy right we all wanted to become a first world country but then again everything should start from us right from you especially you so make those changes count right anyhow okay that, that's for the fourth item then lastly okay then lastly for the fifth item on my list 
doesn't mean it's uh, on the bottom line it doesn't mean you know it's the least uh, priority but for the fifth item what I'm listing here is what I'm listing here is the riding gear safety gears okay riding gears we have helmets especially those are mandatory we have gloves we have jackets everything on on safety of course right bear in mind we are a newbie rider newbie rider is more prone into accident more prone into falling or whatever taking out of balance in in riding all those so the risk is there it's much much greater than those who are experienced rider so it's really important to put in our safety gears i hate those people who are like okay the scooter riders there, there's a lot of uh, let's say okay you have a brand new meal you have a brand new aerox you have a brand new nmox and yet you cannot afford a decent or a modest type of helmet i hate those right can you imagine that there's a lot of filipinos like that yes they got brand new aerox come on guys what's aerox brand new motorcycle and yet you cannot buy a decent helmet let's invest first on our safety safety gears helmet is one your helmet is very important there's a lot of helmet out there who are knocked off uh cheap helmet freebie helmet that isn't certified i mean there, there are helmets that cost like more than I can't recall what uh zach lozero has reviewed but it's the most expensive helmet there is at least what, what he has uh seen is i mean costing is really subjective right but then again your safety <laughs> isn't okay your safety i mean you, you can buy a hundred thousand worth of uh aerox right and yet your helmet is like the freebie one that the that the dealer can give how much that, does that cost 700 1500 3000 i don't know who cares but then again it's your safety at risk right but my point is okay i have those five major tips okay five major tips on riding metro manila traffic on a scooter okay particularly scooter because that's the one who is uh newbie friendly especially for us for other countries with, which has a uh, you know freeway and all those uh, it might not be applicable for you guys because uh you know asian culture is much much different we have a different uh, road conditions and we don't have those freeways that i mean we, we don't have that we, we have a more congested street like this uh, a lot of potholes a lot of cats or stray animals trying to cross at any time so it's important to be aware of the situation be aware of the condition and culture of the location right so in manila okay those are the five major tips that i can give and i'm already here somewhere in Cubao and that's it so thank you again for joining and make sure okay support me in this one please okay i'm, I'm, ask, I'm really asking you guys support me in this one if you're watching it if you're really watching oh let me check that it's the ninja 400 i like it ninja 400 nice one nice small but looks nice ninja 400 kawasaki ninja 400 it's nice